to the 13th century and is of wood inlaid with carved ivory. The icons are of the Virgin Mary, Jesus and various saints. Behind the main altar is a domed apse that has seven steps decorated in bands of black, red and white marble. The chapel dedicated to the two martyrs, Cyrus and John, forms the extension to the left of the sanctuary. for the science page it's time to look into the latest research in the field of solar energy Ashraf, welcome with us. Well, first of all, I'd like you to tell us about the scientific research, especially in the field of uh, solar energy conducted here. In fact, we are uh, dealing with uh, renewable energy since uh, the inauguration of the university. We were uh, dealing with uh, wind energy. We were uh, dealing and still, and we are dealing with uh, solar energy and uh, we have different types of research uh, the first one is dealing with uh, production of the solar cell itself the other one is the implementation and the uh, efficiency of the solar cells the third one is uh, to have integrated solution for uh, wide application for uh, industrial usage now, actually, this uh, project is quite a, an important and impressive project which will be inaugurated soon. So would you please tell us about it? You already took us on a tour, but would you repeat it for our viewers, please? In fact, as you see, this is the largest uh, ever in the world uh, uh, integrated solution as, as a showroom for integrated solution uh, covering a wide spectrum of application starting from uh, uh, energy generation and energy storage uh, and uh, specifically storage as well uh, because as you know uh, many people are uh, well uh, familiar with uh, solar cells panels and solar production but what we have here we have different types the first type as you see here is the uh, fixed one which is known this is including tracking system which adjusts itself with the sun another type which is huge one for industrial scales for the mega uh, uh, watt uh, range can rotate and we have a very interesting and modern uh, uh, windmill uh, generator which is that one which is rotating in this direction instead of the normal fans that we know and familiar with this a type of mills, windmills, has uh, advantage uh, that you can generate in very low speed of uh, wind, wind, three meter per second, which is uh, can be implemented everywhere. What does it mean? If you have a combined solution between solar and wind, then you will have a day and night, especially you have uh, wind uh, speed which is uh, uh, very low to uh, or the necessary wind speed which is uh, needed for the power generation is very low three meter per second this means that uh, this panel can generate this uh, windmill can generate 10 kilowatt directly so
time for the culture review. It's time to look into the workshop of the restoration of the Baron Palace. The Ministry of Antiquities, in collaboration with the Heliopolis Heritage Foundation, held a workshop to discuss means of restoring the Baron and Pam Palace. في الحقيقة ورشة العمل اليوم طبعا هي ورشة لها طابع خاص. Today we will be looking into the restoration of the Baron in Pam Palace. The full day workshop is entitled the restoration and reuse of the Baron in Pam Palace in Heliopolis. We will form a specialized committee to study the condition of the palace and means of restoring it. Also, we have to consider methods of collecting the funds for the restoration and whether it will be reused as a cultural venue or as a museum. Baron or the Pali Hindu, the Indian Palace is a distinctive and historic Indian inspired mansion in Heliopolis, owned by Baron Ampin, who gave it after his death to the Egyptian government. The palace was designed by French architect Alexandre Marcel and decorated by Georges Riclot. It is inspired by the Hindu temple of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. It was built between 1907 and 1911 in reinforced concrete. As the year passed, the palace fell into oblivion. The initiative started in 2011 and uh, mainly it was uh, working on five main uh, major um, uh, issues in Heliopolis. So the building heritage, open spaces and green gar um, areas, um, transportation, um, waste management and cultural and uh, awareness raising campaigns. What about your role today and the role of your initiative uh, in terms of the Baron Palace? So the Baron Palace is uh, actually a symbol of Heliopolis. Anybody who knows Heliopolis knows the Baron Palace. For us as an initiative from the beginning we were thinking that the Heliopolis uh, Palace should be used by the local inhabitants uh, and uh, to move uh, along with the neglect of uh, such a beautiful building. Um, so we are now uh, in cooperation with the Ministry of Antiquities. We are working on this workshop, which um, actually uh, addressed the issue of um, conservation, reuse of the building, and how that could benefit the inhabitants of Heliopolis. was a wealthy Belgian engineer and businessman who came to Egypt in 1904 to undertake the construction of a railway line linking Mansoura to Matareya. Despite losing the railway contract to the British, Empa stayed on in Egypt. He was the founder of the area of Heliopolis and when he died he left the palace to the Egyptian government. included discussing the history of the area of Heliopolis and the significance of the Baron Palace. The restoration project of the Baron Palace consists of two parts. The first involves studies on the restoration work and the second is finding the best way to reuse the palace and garden. حالياً حضرتك أسر البارون يعني إحنا الحمد لله تم تسجيله كأسر للحفاظ عليه لأنه يعتبر. The Ministry of Antiquities will be studying the condition of the palace and we will be restoring it. It houses a variety of murals and beautiful statues. Actually, it's in a good condition compared to the time that has passed and the negligence that it has suffered from. شوفي عن طريق بعض الرهبان اللي هناك.
come to an end of this episode of Nile Magazine. Until we meet again, it's goodbye.